Hey, what's up everyone? So, continuing on our money making quest, you can see here is my main account, uh, 683 in gold. And again, like I said in the other video, uh, Archeum Founder did not use all my credits. And I'll show you here. Oh, well, it's glitched right now. I did not use all my credits. I still have around uh, 6,000 or 5,000 credits. And what I mainly bought on this account was extra character slots. Because that was uh, one of the only things that you had to buy that no one else was selling for a decent price. I did buy some tax certificates as well to place down some land. Uh, I got all this money without selling land or doing anything crazy with that. Um, don't have a large farm. I haven't done a single trade run at all. But this one I'm going to talk about making money based on logging and what people missed out on is I did a video before on the public farms and the logging and they missed out on this opportunity you get five free trees every eight hours you can harvest them you get a great amount of logs from them you get around six or seven logs every eight hours and the logs are selling for around 30 gold or 30 silver each. So that means each one of these trees is worth around one gold and uh, 80 silver. And the thing with these logs and these trees, you want to make sure that you keep your spots. So once you cut them, you want to put your trees back down right away because you're going to see people running through here trying to get free trees because this is a public farm and it just like all the other public farms you can only have them here for one day so if someone forgets to harvest their tree in one day that means it's right for the picking and anyone can take it and like I said trees are worth about one about we'll say roughly two gold per tree so if you run through here and you find someone who missed their five trees which is the quantity limit you just made 10 gold right there and they do cost a little bit of labor to actually harvest these guys are fairly expensive they cost 25 labor per chop of tree so for for about nine gold it costs you 125 labor right now to chop down these trees and you can do that every eight hours so for those that don't know, this is over here, Saul's Headlands, public farm over here in this little area. And when you come over, you'll see a massive view of the trees. It's just huge. It's forest everywhere. And then one of the unknown features that people don't know a lot about is that you can actually plant the crops outside of the gates and it's still protected over here because it's close enough to the public farm so those are very sneaky spots that not everyone knows about and now you do we'll give you an aerial view on this so again trees are extremely extremely rare right now uh, you can find wild trees out in the open and if you do, you can make a lot of money harvesting them as well. Here's the aerial view of the farm. And you'll see it's completely filled. But yeah, so if you find a wild tree, definitely try and harvest it because it's going to be worth a lot of gold. Even though trees do cost a lot of labor to chop down, you're going to either need it for your house or your boat, or you're just going to sell it and use it for gold. And it's extremely hard to hide trees in secret farms or illegal farms because they're so big and bulky and they take a long time to grow. So trees... Ooh, it looks like I was able to actually there's a tree over here that was bringing up that cursor that it looked like I could actually harvest it. 
I'm gonna go do a quick peek because I, I thought I saw a tree that was harvestable that someone forgot about. And that'd be a great demonstration. Well, I guess not. But yeah, you'll see people running through here looking for free trees. And your cursor will change if there is a tree that is far, uh, you know, farmable for you. Other than that, we'll go take a look at some of the good trees to actually build. Uh, the U tree is a very, very fast building tree. I believe it's a four hour build time. You only get like, I think, three logs out of that tree though. But it is also a small tree, so you can put it on your scarecrow farm, the very first one. So anyone can make those trees. Oh, there. I said, I saw the cursor change. One of my eyes is just playing tricks on me. Yeah, it looks like the cursor just changes uh, when you're dashing. So we'll take a look at the trees here. And like I said, the U sampling, four hours to grow, uh, small yielded trees, but a cheap and efficient one. It costs, I believe, 10 to chop. And it can be placed on your small scarecrow. A lot of the trees are larger placements, and you cannot place them on your scarecrow. The trees that actually give fruits those guys give a very very low amount of wood so if you're trying to get logs and lumber don't plant the like cherry tree or the margarian tree or the orange tree don't plant those guys you're only gonna get like one or three lumber when you actually chop those down and they take days to build same thing with like the grapevine the fig sampling the base sampling anything that gives fruit you don't want to build and then typically, if they look like this, this little mini thing, um, these ones are larger trees, I want to say. I, no, I'm not sure exactly on that. Because um, I believe the willow is a small tree. The hornbeam is a large tree, very, very large tree. It has a great yield, but it costs 25 labor to chop down. Most of the trees do cost 20 to 15 labor to chop down. And you can see there's a tree for all kinds of different times, 5 hours, 4 hours, 10 hours, 8 hours. So plant down the tree um, that you can fit on your farm, your small scarecrow, which will typically be the use. Another great one to put on your small scarecrow is is the aspen sampling um, and that one a reason that's really good is it it doesn't have that great of a log yield I believe it's like six logs but it has a special drop and that special drop is used to make honey uh, and beehives so that special drop is worth a lot of gold so on top of the logs being expensive if you can pull off the um, the aspen hard log I believe it's called you can get a good, good uh, gold return just on that one special drop. I think it's going to be worth like probably five gold or so right now. Uh, not sure on the exact market value, but that's roughly in the betas and alpha. It was roughly five to ten gold for that one little log. So those are some great recommendations in the tree, the logging area. Um, you know, aspen are the big white ones, and then the U is the small, skinny, skinny one. 
and that one is really really quick it doesn't give that many logs but it is a great return on your investment um, 